Okay, so I'm here at the bank. It's 826. The website says they're open at 8. They're not open. So I have to sit here and wait. I have to be in Brandon in less than half an hour. I'm pissed. I might not look pissed, but I'm pissed. And for my non-American viewers, that means angry, not drunk. Well, I guess while I'm sitting here waiting for the dang bank to open, and I can't just not go to the bank because I don't have any money, as you may have noticed in my uh, What's in Your Bag video from yesterday, or from late last night, that I don't have any money, so I can't go and get breakfast, and I have to have breakfast because we don't have any stuff at home because I ate all my bagels, and... Anyway, one thing missing from my What's in Your Bag video... Well, actually, there were two things missing. Uh, the first thing missing, chicken poop. Now, this is the best lip stuff ever. And I've been wearing it a lot lately, so it was in my pocket. So, uh, that wasn't in the video. And another thing that wasn't in the video was a bottle of water. Now, this is not bottled water. It is bottled water, but it's not... This bottle is a couple of weeks old, and I just refill it with tap water. I still need to buy a metal canteen, um so that I can stop using plastic, but I've noticed um, everybody has water, so those were two things missing. Um, I'm on my way today, oh look, I see movement, yeah, um, I'm on my way today uh, to go to my assistant clerk training class. I am going to be an assistant clerk for the Hillsborough County elections um, in Florida, and I'm going to be an assistant clerk. Now, I'm supposed to be in my own district, which is really cool because it's like right around the corner. Not literally, but fairly close. And uh, I'm very excited. I'm going to learn all about what I'm supposed to do today. And it's a four-hour class. And technically, they pay you. Now, they don't, like, I guess it's not technically, whatever. They pay you for the election day. Now, you get paid uh, $180 for the day. Um, and you know, you're there for like 12 hours or whatever, but they build in the four hours that you do the training class and you actually have to do the training class before both elections. So before the primaries on the 26th of August and then before the general election on November 4th. And so, yeah, I get to go to this training twice, but you get paid twice. I mean, you get, it's $180 per election day. So I'm very excited to learn what I'm going to be doing and, uh, you know, it's a, four hour class I've been told it's exactly four hours and man hurry the fuck up I have to be there in 29 minutes and I still have to stop and get breakfast and I'm gonna go to Wendy's today now I've never had Wendy's breakfast but they have biscuits and gravy on their menu and I'm a huge fan of biscuits and gravy and this is actually gonna kind of work out because I wanted to record a vlog this morning on my way to the thingy and uh, there's this I don't know if you guys can see this but and you probably can't, but my window doesn't roll up all the way, so there's tape on the outside. So ghetto, I know. But it's ripping, so it makes a hell of a lot of noise when driving. And I already have a lot of noise in this car, and uh, so it works out well that I can't record all driving today. Um, and where was I? Yeah, so that's the thing with the window and yeah I could get a fix but it's like a $500 fix and that's expensive basically the motor burned out on the window and it had been going out and it just got stuck and I you know I can smash the button all I want and the other window yeah sometimes it's slow so I try not to roll it down unless I have to it's a big old pain in the butt um yes there is a Luca show this evening I think I'm going to do, and I swear someone suggested this to, to me, music from TV yeah. and movies. Come on! So we're training. I wonder if I bang on my steering wheel enough. Go. Go. Go faster. Come on. What do you listen to in the radio? On the radio? In your car? What do you listen to? Right? Like, I can't really play it for you because I don't want to violate, you know. I mean, this is what was on right now. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. There are two stations that are on my, my one and two on my speed dial. What is that called? 
whatever, preset. Uh, one is 88.5. And I'm going to link their website over on the side there. 88.5 WMNF is the local community station here in Tampa. And they are phenomenal. I love them. I love them. They have such an eclectic music lineup. Like right now, it's supposed to be folk music, but apparently that person's running late, so it's not normally blue glass at 8.30. And then after that, there's like the women's show and the 60s show today, and um, it's very, very cool. I love it. Plus, no commercials. Woo-hoo! Hate commercials on the radio. Plus, none of the DJs are awful or vapid or just, you know, whatever. So it's awesome. And you can listen online. You can listen to their uh, station online, so check them out. Uh, and then station two on my presets is uh, the WUSF, which is the NPR uh, station. The, it's the USF station. Like, yeah, WUSF. It's the college. It's not college radio, though. Like, the, most of the times it's classical music or news or that's really about it. Classical music and news. That's pretty much all I've heard. I know they play other stuff, too. Come on, it's 836. There's people lining up behind me. This is ridiculous. And you can't go in, so there's no, like, going into the to the thingy thingy. And I don't have a debit card. I don't have an ATM card. You know, I live, like, in the Stone Age. I don't have a cell phone. I don't have a debit card. Okay, that's the only two things I don't have. Um... Yeah. So what do you listen to? Now, I know some people listen to CDs and some people listen to, uh, you know, their their iPod. Now, I used to have an iPod that I could play and listen to, but I tried it at Christmas and it didn't work. And it's just, that's just one more thing to put in my bag, you know. And as you may have seen yesterday, there's a lot of stuff in my bag. I don't need any more stuff in my bag. What I need is some money in my bag, so I wish the bank would hurry up and open. That's what I need. Because I spit all over you. God. And you know, I always fill out my little paperwork before I get here so that I don't have to wait. Somebody is running late in that bank. And they, if they don't open till up, what am I going to do? Because I looked on the website last night. It's at 8 o'clock. Not 9 o'clock. It's at 8 o'clock. And there's no way that all these people are here waiting at 8.30 when they're not supposed to open till 9. I mean, who comes to the bank 20 minutes early, 30 minutes early? But this is getting seriously ridiculous. I'm really starting to freak out because, 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 because I have no money and I will not get back before the bank closes. turn this camera off now because I'm gonna I need to like calm down and not be so pissed off because I have 22 minutes to get to Brandon and I still have to get something to eat and I'm supposed to be early I'll let you know how it goes okay well I did not get to the bank. I did get to the class on time. Now I'm going to try to run back and get to the bank. I think they close at 1.30. It's 1.17 so here, I gotta go. Okay, I did not make it to the bank. I think they closed at 1, so uh, I was not able to get to the bank today, and I'm not happy about that. Uh, the class was all right. I don't know how much battery power I have left, so if this cuts off now, whatever, I'm sorry. Um, the class was all right. It went a little long. Uh, um, and it, it kind of seemed to me that maybe they should have split up the, they should have done a, a more in-depth training on the machine, because they broke it down into groups, right, to kind of like teach us the new machines, to the scan, because it's basically a scan trying to machine, you know, you walk it out like you did in school, you know, and then you slide it through. But my machine kept asking me questions like, how do you do this? I'm like, here's the freaking machine test, dude. You're supposed to know how to do this. And not everybody is intuitive with, is as intuitive with machines as I am. So that was my suggestion to them, was that they, that they do like a machine tech class that is separate and more intensive, um, you know, so that if, if, and maybe make it optional, that if somebody does not feel comfortable working the machine, yeah. So, okay. I'm going to go edit this video and try to find something to eat because I'm freaking starving. Have a great day. I'll see you guys later for the Lucas Show, 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Stick cam. The link's over there. You know what to do. I love you. Goodbye.